So this new video series is called Zero to Travel, and I'm gonna walk you through how you can go from zero miles and points to travel within 90 days. So in this first video, we're gonna go from zero miles and points to earning enough miles and points so you can stay up to 12 nights at a Hyatt hotel. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step on how you can earn the points, how you redeem them, and then how you can maximize the World of Hyatt points and the World of Hyatt program. So let's not waste any time and let's get into it. So starting off with earning World of Hyatt points. First, you're gonna need the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Why do you want the Chase Sapphire Preferred? Well, the Chase Sapphire Preferred has a sign-up bonus. Sign-up bonuses are the quickest and the easiest way to earn points for travel. So why wouldn't we get the World of Hyatt card? Well, the World of Hyatt card earns World of Hyatt points as well, but it requires a lot more spend to hit the minimum spend requirement to earn the sign-up bonus. So if I pull up both cards side by side, the Chase Sapphire Preferred requires $4,000 spend in three months, or the World of Hyatt card requires $15,000 spend in six months to earn 60,000 points. Chase Ultimate Reward Points transfers to the World of Hyatt at a one-to-one -one ratio. That means if you have 60,000 Chase Ultimate Reward Points, you can transfer them over to the World of Hyatt program, you would get 60,000 World of Hyatt Points without ever staying in a Hyatt hotel or even getting a Hyatt credit card. So that's why I'm saying get the Chase Sapphire Preferred versus getting the World of Hyatt card. So in order to earn the 60,000 points on the Chase Sapphire Preferred, you have to hit the minimum spend requirement of $4,000 in the first three months. And then once you hit that minimum spend requirement, then you get 60,000 Chase Ultimate Reward Points. So that's how you earn the points. Let's move on to how you redeem the points. In the previous section, I mentioned that you can transfer Chase Ultimate Reward Points over to the World of Hyatt. But before you transfer your points, you wanna make sure that you can book the hotel that you want with points first. It's also known as finding a reward availability. That means going over to the Hyatt website, logging into your World of Hyatt account. If you don't have an account, you can create one. It's completely free. After you're logged in, you can search for your Hyatt hotel and you wanna click on use points. On your search results, if you see the points amount, then that means you can book the hotel with points, which is good. And the next step is going over to chase.com, logging into your Chase account, and then clicking on your Chase Sapphire Preferred card and clicking on redeem. This will take you to the Chase Ultimate Rewards portal. And then from here, you wanna click this drop down up here or go to the menu and then click on transfer points. On this page, you can link your World of Hyatt account to your Chase Ultimate Rewards account and transfer Chase Ultimate Reward points over to the World of Hyatt. And after you link them, then you can go through the process and specifying how many points you wanna transfer over to the World of Hyatt. And transfers are instant, and so it only takes a few minutes and you'll get one email that says your transfer is pending and a few minutes later, you should get an email that says your transfer has been completed. You can refresh your World of Hyatt page and make sure your points are in there and then go back and book the hotel. As for how many points it would cost to stay at the hotel, let's take a look at Hyatt's award chart. So this is Hyatt's award chart. Hotel categories range from 1 through 8, and there's off-peak, standard, and peak times. Category 1 hotels are typically Hyatt places or Hyatt houses, and Category 7 and 8 are typically Hyatt's luxury brands like the Park Hyatt. And so if Category 1 hotels cost 5,000 points per night, you can stay up to 12 nights with 60,000 points. If you want something more luxurious, you can stay up to 2 nights at a Category 7 hotel like the Park Hyatt Zurich. That's how you redeem World of Hyatt points. Let's jump over to Maximize. The great thing about the World Hire program is the award chart that I just showed you in the last section. You always know how many points it's gonna cost to stay at a specific hotel. When you go to Hyatt.com, you can see what category the hotel is and match it up with this chart and you'll have a range of how many points it's gonna require to stay at that hotel. And it's always gonna be within that range. And so let's take a look at this graphic. So let's take category seven, for example. The points range is 25,000 to 35,000 points a night. Whether the cash price goes up or down, it's always gonna be within 25,000 points and 35,000 points. Park Hyatt's can sometimes be over $1,000 or sometimes even $2,000 a night. So that's a good way to maximize your points when Hyatt hotels are really expensive. They stay within the specific range on the chart and you know how much points it's going to cost regardless. Another great thing about the Hyatt program is that even your award nights, your points nights count towards qualifying nights, towards status. And it doesn't even matter if you transfer your chase points over to Hyatt, you'll still earn those qualifying nights towards status. So that's how you go from zero to travel within 90 days. We went over how you can earn 60,000 chase ultimate reward points, transfer them over to Hyatt, and then redeeming those points and maximizing those points for up to 12 Hyatt stays. If you have any questions, comment below. And if you enjoyed this video or you learned something new, hit the like and subscribe button.